Hello, meet Medi, a medical prodigy. Good morning, how are you? Very good. So today in two minutes to be a good doctor, we're going to see about IV fluids and accident and emergency. So accident and emergency and IV fluids, very important for all the doctors. So when in an emergency and when in doubt, you do not know what to start. Start normal saline. It's always good. When you have a patient with head injury, please don't start a dextrose solution. It's going to swell the brain. In accident and trauma and burns, the best thing to start is ringer's lactate because it contains base and combats acidosis. So, you have to be very careful in choosing whatever IV fluids you have in hand. So, when you have a patient with severe vomiting and dehydration and diarrhea, the best fluid is normal saline. So, now we are going to see what rate and how much we are going to see IV fluids. See how much? There is a pretty good rule, 150-20 rule. This says, if somebody is 10 kg, you're going to give 1000 ml. If the child is 8 kg, you're going to give 800 ml. So after 10 kg, every 1 kg, you're going to give 50 ml. And after 20 kg, every kg, you're going to give 20 ml. So if somebody is 22 kg, 1000 plus 500 plus 20, that will be 1540. That is what, that is how your IV calculation is going to go right so next take a break and uh, we'll go to the next topic for the day and now it's again how much 150 20 rules stick to that and most of the times you will be bang on target on your IV fluid management so never forget this 150 20 rule so now about the rate what rate are you going to give the IV fluids? So any 24 hours volume divided by 100, it gives you drops per minute. Pretty simple. And any one hour volume you divide it by 4, it gives drops per minute. Very, very simple. Right? So, if you have calculated 3000 ml, just divided by 100, it will be 30 drops per minute for 24 hours. Remember, if you have calculated for one hour, say 100 ml divided by 4, it gives 25 drops per minute. And any drops per minute multiplied by 4, it gives you micro drops. So follow Medi in 2 minutes to be a good doctor. Thank you very much for watching. And Medi is going to give you more updates very soon. Thank you and bye-bye and see you in the next episode of How to Be a Good Doctor in Two Minutes. Bye for now.